Good. And uh, just moving on, what's your take on the latest advancements that's happening around LLM and AI? <laughs> so, so I'm I'm like extremely happy with the fact that LLM is there. Right? I'll I'll tell you why. Right? On a daily basis, I work with GitHub Copilot, right? And I will tell you that have increased my productivity and boosted my productivity to such a level, right? I can't even comprehend. Right. So, for example, I started learning go seven eight months back. Right. Uh, we we needed to uh, uh, start working with Go. Right? Uh, I like I always wanted to work with Go because of fact that it is that great a language. Right. I wanted to work with Go. Right. When I started working with Go, I was like, okay, I understand the concept. I know bits and pieces of the syntax. Let me figure out uh, what I can do with it. And GitHub Copilot, I will tell you. When I write the code, right? You you would have used it yourself, right? When you start writing the code, it understands the context uh, that you want to write, and it helps you, right? I do not have to write those ten lines myself, right? GitHub Copilot will do it for me. Now there is a counter uh, 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 thing regarding this: is that people say it will take our jobs. I have a different perspective to things. Maybe, right? So, for example. It might like you might not require, uh, let's say, an intern at some point in time, right? So, for example, I might have required intern if I I so GitHub Copilot wouldn't have been there, right? But the thing is, it boosted my productivity. Now, since it boosted my productivity, I can spend that time that was saved somewhere else, and that new thing, right, where I'm spending my time, right, might be the new uh, opportunity to work alone, right? So, so this is this is this is my personal experience uh, with the uh, GitHub Copilot. Now, coming to the fact that I go to Product Hunt once in a while. Product Hunt is a great uh, place to be if you want to uh, want to experience the new product that are coming out, right? Just 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 out of uh, uh, someone's uh, workspace, right? Uh, so I so you can find a lot of new projects that are coming out. So, for example, Notion, right? How did I find that Notion exists? Is because uh, on Product Hunt it was listed. Right, I figured out that Notion is there. Okay, this is a great product. I am going to use it. Right, so that kind of products, right? Uh, you found product one. If now when I go to product one, I see a lot of AI projects. Right, what LLM models have done, right? And this is quite beautiful, right? It has provided a platform for the new ideas to come along. Right, earlier AI ML the barrier to entry into that is very difficult. Like you need to understand a lot of stuff to even start working on, it, right? So, for example, you might have an idea. Like I'll give you an example. Like uh, I might, I'm, I'm not from a data science uh, uh, background, but I'll give you an idea, right? So earlier, if I needed to create a recommendation system, right, I need to have a lot of understanding of stuff, right? Uh, data science, like yeah, and all of that stuff. Now today with LLMs, right? If I have an idea and I have basic understanding. Of those things, right? I can create a business out of it, right? And 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 kid you not, I have seen some really great products on Product Hunt uh, regarding this. <laughs> One of the very uh, funky products that I've seen on Product, and I have shown this to my uh, barber, like the hair cutting salon barber. So the product was basically you click a picture, and it will suggest you what hairstyle suits suits you, right? Now this is a very simple product, right? Uh, they are doing it with LLMs, right? Uh, now, I when I showed it to the barber, right? You can click a picture, and hey, he was he was blown away with that fact, right? Now, these this is given indie hackers, right, an opportunity to build stuff with AI, right? And I feel that it has provided a platform. So, for example, in 2016, 17, when UPI came along, right, it provided a platform for a lot of new stuff to uh, to start getting built, right? And I feel this is a pivotal moment. I feel in 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 the startup industry as well as uh, uh, the compute computer uh, the complete computer science industry. Right, it's provided a platform where you can build a lot of stuff yourself, and you do not need to have a very deep understanding of stuff because it made it so simple. Right, it abstracts out a lot of complex stuff, and you can start building if you have an idea. Earlier, it was not possible. Now it is possible, and hence you see that many products coming out. One product that, apart from GitHub Copilot, that I use on a daily basis, is something called. Uh, so, for, for example, if you are reading a PDF, like so, for example, we we have a lot of documentation that we come uh, that we go through, right? When reading a PDF, you can start chatting with a bot 
to understand the summary of it right now for example i want to say something into the pdf i can ask the pdf ka bot ke tell me where in that particular pdf uh, i can find this particular thing or tell me the summary of it now, that i use on a daily basis because the thing is world is getting more impatient and people have lesser time and they want faster results right so when that happens ai is a boon in such kind of cases and this is this is my perception uh, that even though people say that it will cut a lot of jobs i feel that it will create that many more because it has increased our productivity to that much right we have time to do other stuff as well right so that's that's what i say right really agree like companies will become thinner but there will be many such yeah. products there will be many such companies which yeah. will come and there will be many opportunities new use yeah. cases new ideas will come and we will be right. on the next level of thing just we need to keep right. ourselves uh, updated yeah. and upgraded yeah. and people acquiring new skills and we will be ready for right. uh, the next uh, right. right right and just as i said right, just keep increasing your comfort zone yeah, comfort just zone. keep going out of your comfort zone uh, so right. sir uh, the last question any final advice for data tech viewers data tech learners So the only advice that I would like to give you is that uh, always, although this 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 particular thing is very cliche, love what you do, right? Obviously, love what you do. That's okay. But the thing is, I feel uh, that is very important in at least in the startup and as well as otherwise as well, right? In in life in terms as well, like, have a good amount of ownership with what you do, right? If you have a good ownership of what you do. you will reap benefits maybe you might not reap benefits right away be patient enough you will get your chances you will get that benefit out somewhere in the future right apart from that has that hustle thing right so for example let's say if you are in your 20s you have the time and energy to hustle now we are in at least i am in my 30s right we do not have that energy to hustle that much right the thing is if you are in your 20s you have that much energy to hustle please do right also be very disciplined in in your approach in 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 your approach in life as well right so for example i can i can give you an example of abhishek himself right he he is a fitness freak right and i very uh, uh, what do you say very recently figured out why is that an important thing is because if you are into fitness you will be disciplined enough to understand that this is also important right so you have to be like that disciplined aspect of being a fitness freak goes into the other aspects of your life right so be disciplined enough in whatever you do right if if like sometimes you have to push yourself to do the right thing and the foremost thing that you should do is that you do the right thing even when no one is watching you right be ethically and morally correct right so for example there will be times in your career where you will get chances uh, but you feel that something you are doing is not ethically correct right uh it can be in cases like so for example let's say you're building a company right you can get uh, a lot of uh, so so like let's say i'm building a finance company right i can get a lot of people giving them a false narrative that i will give you this much returns right and most of the cases there are returns when when, when i'm building a a a fintech company but the thing is you can't guarantee that right so you have to be ethically and morally correct to tell them the risk involved as well right you might not get them at that particular moment but you will so basically what i was trying to tell you is that be disciplined enough uh, in whatever you do right and that that be that goes to different aspects of your life uh, keep us right uh, keep us link uh, have a good uh, work life balance right that is extremely important because if most extreme uh, most important thing in life is health right if you are not doing mentally and physically well right uh, it will reflect poorly in your career as well right? so take please take care of it other thing is uh, keep like as i keep on saying like keep away from office politics as much as possible it will eventually come to you just be away from it right uh, have patience like that is that, that is extremely important have patience keep away all the distractions that you have uh, that is that is one most important thing that you should definitely do just have that never say never attitude i will figure it out and have a good network of people right uh, around you who whom you help from whom you get help right and have a very cordial relationship with everyone you work be just humble be just humble be, be be just genuine with people right and tech people will figure it out like that is that is not the i am not going to tell you how to do that you you people already know that like, like there are many 
great people who are teaching it like i'm just telling you that be ethically and morally correct in whatever you and good will eventually come to you thank you thank you for that wonderful advice and uh, thanks for your time we will have more such sessions in future thank you so much i wish again best wishes for your uh, for your for your channel for for your as well i'll be i'm i'm extremely happy uh seeing your progress right and i wish you that you keep growing much much bigger right and you keep going and uh, i'll be cheering for you from side this so we had such wonderful seniors we had such wonderful role models who are already doing so well like you and uh, that keeps us motivated and it will be we also try <laughs> Yes, sir. I look up to you as well, right? And I look up to other uh, uh, juniors as well as my batchmates. And I figure out uh, that's that's it. It's the motivation. It's the it's the great things that you people are doing, right? That motivates us to be better in every every aspect of life that we do on a daily basis, right? So I'm looking up to you as well. So so keep doing great. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Take care. Bye.